McMillan, senior pastor at John Knox Presbyterian Church. On Tuesday, we had a Bible study on Pharaoh and about Moses and Aaron saying, let the people go and the slavery and the oppression and God's will to let the people be free. And Pharaoh refused to yield to God's way. And one man, and I can't I can't bring his words as effectively as he brought them to the group, but he essentially said, you know, there's something really freeing about the experience of yielding to God. You just, you yield your need to always be in control, to have everything together, to arrive at your own estimation of perfection. Yielding allows you to kind of let God be God and allow yourself to be free. Um, to follow, to listen, to learn? Are we willing to yield to what God is trying to do in us and through us? Or are we so um, aggressive in our own life, pushing forward our agenda, our will, our needs, and we lose track of what God is trying to say and what God is trying to do? Remember in the whole rhythm of life to give yourself a chance to breathe, to be free, to recognize that God is in control and we join in God's work in this world. But Jesus said, um, I am the vine and you are the branches. Abide in me, stay in me as I stay in you because apart from me, you can't do anything. But attached and connected and yielding to God, we find all of a sudden God begins to provide us with direction, with imagination, with insight, with vision, with peace that this world can't give. Remember, you're not alone. God cares for you, and so do we.